Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have a huge grocery haul. For the past couple days I've been eating weird, very weird meals. Yesterday like two of my meals were instant ramen because I just have nothing in my pantry or fridge. So I went to both Trader Joe's and Sprouts today and stocked up on a bunch of stuff so hopefully I won't have to go grocery shopping for a little while. I mean I still had some like pantry basics like rice, beans, oats and stuff in the pantry but beyond that I didn't have much to work with. I was really running low. But if you're new to my channel, hello, my name's Ashley. I am now 20 years old, which is weird. I'm a vegan and I live in Los Angeles and this is a grocery haul of mine. Let's get started. I'm gonna start out with Trader Joe's and normally I kind of start with produce and then move along, but since I have so much, I'm not gonna go through and separate it all. So we're just gonna pull things out of the bags and whatever comes out is what I'm gonna be talking about first. And the first thing is some wild arugula. Arugula will never be my first choice of like a green ever, just because it's so strong in flavor. I like the flavor, I don't mind it on a lot of things, but it's definitely something I just don't use as much as like a spinach or romaine or anything like that because it's so specific in flavor, but I have a pasta salad in mind that I think this will work really well in, so I wanted to get some of that. Keeping it with the produce, I got a little thing of baby carrots. These are just not at all baby carrots. Whole carrots, unbaby carrots, because I wanna make some spring rolls. I have like the rice paper wrapped up there, but I don't have anything to go in it. So I got a bunch of vegetables to put in spring rolls, and this is one of them. And then next I got some cherry, or I guess sugar plum grape tomatoes. And these I'm also gonna put in the pasta salad. Speaking of the pasta salad, again, the pesto from Trader Joe's, the vegan kale and cashew pesto, which is amazing, is going to be the dressing or sauce for my pasta salad. Vegan feta, also to go in the pasta salad. And then I got this big thing of sea salt fine crystals because one, I have an icy machine that requires a lot of salt. And then two, my mom got me these super cute salt and pepper shakers for my birthday, so I wanna be able to fill one up. I picked up some figs, which honestly, I really thought figs were only available in the fall. Maybe they're summer through fall, I have no idea. Either way, I'm not complaining though. I love figs, haven't had them in a while. Cilantro also for the spring rolls, and then garbanzo beans also for the pesto pasta salad. And then the last thing in this bag are the rolled corn tortilla chips, chili and lime flavored. These are basically just the Trader Joe's equivalent of Takis, but they're about 500 times better than Takis. I will never, ever, ever buy Takis again in my life. I don't think if these exist. Now we're gonna move on to bag two of two from Trader Joe's. And on top is probably the thing that I'm most excited for. It is their hash brown patties. I'm just excited for these because I've not had these in my own freezer in probably close to a month, which when I have these in my freezer, I eat minimum one every single day, so I'm excited. Next, I actually got something new, not new to Trader Joe's, but new to me, and that's their lavash bread. I hope that's how you pronounce it. It is what they roll the hummus and veggie and the lentil, spicy lentil wraps from Trader Joe's in, and those wraps I love. I love those wraps so much more than any wrap with like a typical, just like normal tortilla. I think it's so much better. I like that they're thinner, it's like less doughy. I don't know, I really, really like it, so I'm excited for these. And then for the spring rolls, I got both a orange bell pepper and some mini cucumbers. They had some mini, mini cucumbers there. I mean like the size of a little tiny baby dill pickle. I'd never seen those before, but I definitely feel that I'll have much more uses for the bigger cucumbers. I got some organic white mushrooms and a single yellow like Yukon Gold potato. A bag of avocados that are rock solid, so I think I'm not gonna really eat these for like a week. And then the last thing in this bag is a big thing of strawberries. Oh, actually the last thing from Trader Joe's though are their ridge cut salt and pepper potato chips. These I've also actually never had, but they sounded good. I mean, all potato chips sound good to me, so of course they sound good. Now it's time for sprouts, and sprouts I got. <gasps> I know! My greens are open. I think they're fine. It doesn't look like it's been touched at all, but I don't love that. Anyways, I got some power greens. To go on the power greens, I got this Mother Raw Organic Ranch style dressing and marinade. I think that I met with this brand at Expo West. I could be wrong, but I feel like I did, and I remember liking their products a lot. It is... Oh, it's made mainly from olive oil, but I have no idea what to expect. There's been ranches, like vegan ranches that are really love, and then vegan ranches that are no good, so 
Hopefully this is one of the good ones. The Sprouts Vegan Yogurt Alternative in Plain Unsweetened. You've probably heard me talk about this a lot within the past couple months, but how to get another tub of this. And then also, the last thing in this bag is a block of firm tofu. Okay, in this bag, I don't really know what I have to say about these. I just found out today, randomly, I was just strolling through the chip aisle, that Sprouts also has their own version of Takis. The same exact thing is like the Trader Joe's replica, but it's the Sprouts brand. It also is chili and lime flavored rolled corn tortilla chips. They look the exact same. I am so excited to try these, and I'm so excited to try them side by side with the Trader Joe's ones. I wish I knew the price difference. That'd be helpful, but either way, I'm excited. And then I also got some other new chips. I got a lot of chips in this haul because one, I'm having some people over tomorrow night, so I wanna have some snacks. And then two, Will always gets mad at me, but I don't have snacks. So I got some chips. And these are jalapeno flavored veggie straws. Though whatever normal brand or like the most popular brand of veggie straws also has hot ones, but they have milk in it. But this is the Good Health brand and there is no milk to be found anywhere. So I think these are gonna taste really, really good. I can't wait to try these. A single red onion so I can pickle it. And then I also got some tempeh because I always get tofu and I wanted to switch it up. But now on to the last bag from Sprouts. Starting out with some shoestring French fried potatoes. And I got two things of ice cream also requested by Will. I got the Van Leeuwen oat milk brown sugar chunk with cookie dough, brownies, and candied oat clusters. I don't think an ice cream could sound better than that. And then back in January, Will and I went to Joshua Tree for a night and we got the So Delicious Snickerdoodle ice cream and he was obsessed with it. So I wanted to try to find the one today, but they didn't have it. So I found another flavor that I thought would interest him, which is peanut butter brownie. It's also their cashew milk, like base. And I've not had a so delicious ice cream that I don't like, so I bet I'm gonna like this one too. I then got three boxes of the Bonza spaghetti, and that's because I wanted to stock up this little container that I have already full of some. Okay, now I have Bonza pasta spaghetti to last me forever, and we just have a few more things left. First, I got ketchup. I just don't ever have ketchup, and I don't eat ketchup all that much, but there's like maybe once every two months where I feel like I want ketchup, and so I had to get it for those times. Picked up some of the Tofuti sour cream, which I don't like. I do not like this as a sour cream, and I do not recommend it as a sour cream, but there is one lemon loaf recipe that I need this for, and it works perfectly in that. Beyond that though, don't get Tofuti sour cream. It's not good. One can of Great Northern Beans, in another can of black beans. I didn't realize that I got low sodium and no salt. I would have normally just got normal beans. I wish I could have gotten normal beans. Now I have to add my own salt. Okay, here I got the Omni Pork plant-based pork style strips. It says it's good for noodles, tacos, stir fry, and fried rice. It also is shown on a sandwich. It kind of looks like pulled pork. I'm not really sure. All I know is that Omni Pork is a very underrated brand. Everything that I've had like made by them has been amazing. And then I also have their same exact container as this, their ground pork, which was phenomenal. I am excited to try these. And they were really cheap too, compared to all the other like vegan meat brands. Some um, kimchi and then marinated artichokes to put in the pasta salad. Then the very final thing that I do have is a watermelon. And this is actually not from Sprouts or Trader Joe's. My parents got me this for my birthday from Costco. But I still thought I would include it since I brought it up for my car at the same time as everything else. So this is everything that I got in today's grocery haul. I don't think I'll be posting one of these for a while after this because I think I am quite stocked up. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what store I should go to next in a grocery haul. Even if it's some place that I've never posted once before, I would love to try somewhere new. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Thank you.